we were here for, right? So Tune Town, Brendan Shorb's show on his channel called Tune Town. Episode one has just dropped, right? We're gonna watch it together. I have not watched it just yet. Now, just to give you my initial reactions when I first spoke about this, when I saw the trailer, I thought it looked fairly decent. I'm in a minority here, but I like to be a bit of a contrarian and I like to throw out some shitty hot takes here and there. You guys know me for throwing out the odd shitty hot takes. So I'm going to continue to do so. But even my dislike for Brendan to one slide, one slide, one side, my dislike for the guy to one side, looking at it objectively, I thought the trailer for the show looked fairly decent. And considering the previous content we watched on the live stream where he went to that, um, I don't know, I forgot the guy's name, but he had a garage somewhere where Brendan went to go get his truck done up and he went with them and they did a fucking car thing, whatever. He had a blast. He clearly enjoyed it. He was in his element. You know, it seemed like he got out of kind of the comedy bubble. He's around some real people, all that sort of stuff. And the show just looked, it looked fairly decent. So I didn't mind the clip, the trailer, because it kind of seemed like something in the same sort of vein. Him driving around in crazy cars, going to garages, donuts, spins, all that good stuff. So it could possibly work. But then having thought about it a bit, the only problem that he has is that from what I understand, again, I'm not super um, knowledgeable about cars, but from what I do know about watching the odd car channel here and there, no matter what niche car channels are in, they're all very balls deep in their niche. So even if they're talking about luxury sports cars, even if they're talking about, you know, daily commuters, vintage cars, whatever their lane is, they are very balls deep in it. There's not a lot of like casual, just surface level kind of channels that exist <clears throat> or that are popular anyway. If you want to be popular, you have to get really hardcore into your niche, really detailed, really dialed in. And if that requires a level of curiosity, a level of intelligence, a level of humility that I'm just not too sure Brendan has. Do you know what I mean? He kind of wants to always pretend like he knows everything. So I'm not too sure if that's going to give him the right platform to make the show good. So let's see what happens. But so far, those are, those are my early kind of um, predictions of the show. Will he be able to do that? Take a back seat, let the experts talk, learn on the way. We have to wait and see. So tune to episode number one. Let's see what I want. <laughs> What's up guys? The journey starts today. Now recently I bought a stock TRX. As of now I haven't done any mods to it really. Nothing major. I uh, upgraded the exhaust, of course the exhaust. I did a JMB intake but nothing crazy out there especially for you mod freaks. 705. On the start of it though, look at the look at the likes ratio. It seems like people enjoyed it, right? Because usually his content gets aggressively downvoted or thumbs down. So far it's got 454 upvotes or thumbs up and 87 downvotes only. So basically people are liking it. Five horsepower, 650 pounds of torque. It has a 6.2 liter supercharged engine, also known as the Hellcat as we like to say on the streets. So the plan is, is to get this stock Sandblast limited edition TRX to over 1,000 horsepower. I can't do it on my own, so I reached out to some of the very best in the business. I am headed to Sacramento, California to visit my boys at Overkill, who are gonna turn this thing into the Demon TRX. Let's go. I really hate that fucking finger thing. I dislike it so much. It's probably a little tick that he does because he's not sure where to put his hands, but I dislike the little like, let's go type of thing. Just cut to the next fucking scene. You don't need to do the fucking finger. It's fucking annoying, man. Okay, cool. Graphics. They could have had some little bit of B-roll footage there of them driving down the fucking highway, what music he's playing. What well, he likes to drink on the way there. Just something, man. He just like he went from <laughs> the studio to Sacramento. Do you know what I mean? Like some B roll footage of them driving down the fucking highway, maybe his mullet flying in the air, you know. I mean, sorry, I'm blowing in the wind as he's driving with his fucking windows down. That might have helped to kind of give you an idea on, you know, to kind of set you into the fucking scene of it. But hey, what do I know? Made 
made it five and a half hours LA to Sacramento to see the boys at Overkill. A lot of beef jerky, a lot of big gulps. We left at 6 a.m. But we made Again, not to be nitpicky, but you don't need to repeat this. Just go straight from driving up to Sacramento. Hey, what's up, man? What's going on? Do the spud thing, do the whole bro thing and hug each other out. You already explained who you're going to go meet. You don't need to then explain it again. Do you know what I mean? It's you, you should already be there meeting them, the sign, blah, blah, blah. Maybe a, a shot of the sign, a shot of them working, and then you're going to say hi. Made it. I'm so excited, man. How's it going, brother? Oh, yeah, oh, yeah. Josh, good to meet you. Yeah. Okay, yeah, like, good to see you, man. I appreciate you guys. Hey, coming black out. guy. Yeah, man. It's going to be about, you know, six hours or something. Like, that sounds oh, right. And I was like, it's like Hunter Biden, man. I, I figured it, you guys were at least going to have to stop at least once. What do you say about Hunter Biden? Hey, big up Austin Casey. You're right, as but he is making a car show using a podcast crew. Ah, yeah, true. That's a good point. That's a good point. Yeah, true. Maybe it is the podcast crew thing. <laughs> You're right. I didn't think about that, but I don't know. It's just the editing. Just swap, swap some scenes around. Like if he would have, as he drives up, he drives up, right? He drives up in his car, makes this the scene as you get out. Yeah, what's up, dude? What's up, man? Good to meet you. I'm Brendan. Yeah, it's my brother, Shark Eyes, Dolph Smile, whatever his name is. What's up, man? Da, da, da. They should have made that the scene instead of standing there at the front, explaining it again why they're at the fucking garage. We know why you're there. Stop twice. Stop twice and steal. Once for gas and then once for being jerky vehicles. Hold on. What's that thing he said about Joe Biden? What about Joe Biden? He loves fucking talking weird politic things he puts in there to like... Are these like little fucking um, Republican signifier things that he does? Is this like a weird like dog whistle thing? Like, why is he always mentioning stuff like this? Oh, California's North Korea, Gavin Newsom, George. Like, what is all these little quips? I don't get this. What's, what's Joe Biden got to do with cars? Hold on, let's hear. Yeah, he's like, yeah, man, it's going to be about, you know, six hours or something. Like, that sounds oh, right. And I was like, it's like Hunter Biden, and man. I, I figured it. Ah, oh, driving that car like Hunter Biden. Okay, I see, I see. My bad. If we said Joe Biden, he's driving that car like Hunter Biden. I'm guessing the joke is there that Hunter Biden drove his car really fast under the influence of crack, I'm assuming, right? Okay, cool. Great joke. Never met him. You guys were at least going to have to stop at least once. We stopped twice. Stopped twice and still... Once for gas and then once for being jerky. Jesus Christ. We ain't messing around. Still got here in like five hours. About to go with this young man right and what's the beef jerky and big gulps thing, by the way? My American style listeners out there, what's the whole beef jerky and big gulps thing about? Is that some sort of like snack that people that drive cars eat? Like, what's that? Why is he always mentioning beef jerky and big gulps? I know the big gulps is that kind of massive cup with the juice in it. Why does that have to do with jerk, chick, jerk, beef jerky? Oh, it's gas station food. Okay, cool. It's road trip trope. Okay, cool. I see, I see, I see, I see, I see. Pause. <laughs> okay, okay. Oh, Hunter Biden drove 172 miles per hour while on Coke. Big up Hunter Biden. That's my kind of guy. Um, classic gas station, but okay, cool. Okay, 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 okay. I thought it's another one of those tater tats <laughs> situation. <laughs> tater tats. Here and drift it. Drift this bad boy. Not me. I told him I don't want to die though, man. I can't, I can't go out. Drinking. He's, a, he's in good hands. I told him. I promise. <laughs> oh, this is not good. They're using the same footage from that time they went to that guy's garage for the first episode. That came out months ago, didn't it? Come on, Brendan, man. You got to do better than this. I thought this was new footage. And he's copying the glasses from Dion Sanders as well. No, come on. It's the same footage from that time they went to the fucking garage. Boo. I heard he's pretty good, so I trust him. I'm not going to lie, the storytelling of this thing doesn't make sense. They rocked up to this guy's garage to fix his car. Now they're suddenly drifting. You know, like, 
again it doesn't it doesn't even take a, a big production crew just the editing or just the what you, it's a storyboarding of this doesn't make any sense it should have went from the fucking car lot of fucking thick boy studios the road a bit of road trip footage b-roll footage of them in the car driving maybe a little gopro footage of them inside driving head out the window making nonsense buying the beef jerky making jokes about oh you forgot mine whatever it may be bang you're at the fucking garage then maybe he explains what they're going to do in the day hey we're going to set up your car we're going to do this we're going to do that we've got my tissue working but in the meantime we're going to jump yep do something bro how you just go from we're going to go fix my car to suddenly here we are in the car in this fucking vehicle drifting in the in the in front of the fucking garage i don't it, I don't, it don't make sense <laughs> okay okay also in case you, that's true Austin Gacy putting it in the most clearest way possible. His crew edits podcast. They don't have experience telling stories. <laughs> it's like, sir, you're at McDonald's. What's that meme? Sir, ma'am, this is a McDonald's. <laughs> this is the Wendy's. <laughs> uh, <laughs> oh, mate. <laughs> this is a Wendy's. <laughs> I'm on here ranting and raving, giving him fucking Scorsese notes. He's like, look, bro. <laughs> oh. Wheels are burning. My boy's the real freaking deal over there. He's Mr. Drifter, man. I, mean, I felt safe too. I, you know, I was hey, come on, man. Better jokes than this. Mr. Drifter, come on, Brendan, man. You're a professional comedian. Let's get some other jokes in there. He's Mr. Drifter. All, all state drifter, right? <laughs> I was nervous to go. I felt safe. Everyone says that. Deal. It makes me feel so good. Everyone feels safe when they get in the car. Now you... when we get in that car. This is fucking shit, man. The music as well. Oops. This is fucking terrible, man. What's the point of this? So you're just going to go to garages and just have them, what, spin them around and do donuts in front of the garage? This is meant to be, he's a car guy. And we spent the first nearly five minutes him getting in random cars doing donuts. And also it'd be better if he's driving. Exactly. It would be better if he was the one driving, maybe learning how to do the donuts himself. But obviously that's not going to happen because he must drive like shit. First team will take your drift exactly. They started off saying, I bought a TRX stock, sandblast sand edition for my kids. We're going to go get it done to 1,000 horsepower. Also, why do you need, it? Why do you need a, a car that's going to be transporting your kids from the school for the most part and doing the fucking target run to be 1,000 horsepower in the first place? I don't know. Whatever. Cool. But we're doing donuts. Serious. <laughs> Episode whatever fifteen, get his ass on there. All right, Josh. One of the reasons I came to you because you are a TRX. There we go. That's what you should have started it from. When they got out of the car, they shake this guy's hand. Then this bit cuts in. Okay, Josh. So we're here because honestly, you know what I'm, I'm gonna do? I'm gonna actually download this. This is what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna download this video, and I'm gonna yeah, big up Keith Thompson. Appreciate you, brother. These shows usually give you a working man's vibe. This one just feels stuck up. Exactly. It feels pretentious. It feels like um it feels like rich guys day out like it just feels like like a vlog. Fair enough, but you're making it into a show where you're trying to share your experience and your love for cars and you know, um, modding and customization and bloody blah blah blah. But here you are essentially just what paying a trip to cool garages in exchange to get free parts or something making videos out of it so it's kind of feeling like a tax thing isn't it like maybe to write off the car or any other cars he gets in the future and also a way to get like free bits and bobs for the cars that he wants to edit 
But anyway, going forward, what I'm going to do, big up Keith Thompson, I appreciate it for the super chat, brother. What I'm going to do, I'm going to download this video and I'm going to literally chuck it into fucking iMovie and just change the order of the cuts to make it flow like what it should flow like because there's bits in here that make sense, but this should have come way, way before all the fucking donut shit, in my personal opinion. But anyway, let's continue with the video. So let me stop pausing it all the time. So owner, you've done what I want to do to my truck, to exactly. yours. Exactly. So you have your, the 900 package here. You have the SMB intake, which Correct. I absolutely love with the Ram Air. That's filthy. So you actually not only do it to other people's trucks, you do it to your truck. Absolutely. I think that's the biggest thing when you go down the list, just like when we were running the times we were doing with the Trackhawk. I went out and bought my own track hawk back in you know 2018 yep. and wanted to be a pioneer so i used my own do you think brendan knew what a track hawk was in 2018 <laughs> vehicle no different than using the trx the same thing so this is our 900 package we use a closed air intake system that utilizes the ram air and everything else along with the rest of the parts we were talking about the pulleys the You've done injectors all that to this everything's done to this one this is this daily, boy moves. daily driven if you look at <laughs> This bad boy moves. <laughs> she moves, she moves. This bad boy, she moves, she moves. Okay. In the back, we got the car, the baby seat back yep, there and everything else. Just facts. like you. Yep. This the track hawk used to be my dad van. Yep. This is the new dad it's the van. The dad wagon. Right, the dad wagon. Pull the bow. This puppy can go, man. It can go. It can Puppy bad honestly, man. Just a bunch, just a couple of dudes talking shop, eh? <laughs> this kind of reminds me of like, do you remember there's a scene? I think it's like a Mediterranean Mediterranean countries where like old men will just like stand next to fucking building sites and watch the guys just build, watch the guys do their fucking, their manual labor stuff. It's kind of like a weird like man thing, right? They just want to stand there and watch, you know, manual labors, laborers do their thing. And maybe this is the same thing with car guys. There's a portion of car guys who don't really know much about cars, but they just want to be around a guy that's talking about it with the bonnet open. It just makes you feel like you know something, you know? So you just stand there like, yeah. Yeah, what, the pistons? Yeah, yeah, the pulleys. Yeah, 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 yeah. The exhaust. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Intake. Yeah, 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 yeah. There's something about it. Like, you know, it's maybe a... It's it's a primal thing, right? <laughs> Go. So... I'm gonna give them a pull anyway, show you guys what this 900 package can do. Um, we've had these packages well into the tens already, uh, and that's on average, you know. It, we're gonna show him what it really does. We'll see what his reaction is, and after that, it'll be his turn, Get right? Me. Yes. You know, you know he likes to spend in it. That's the face of somebody that likes spending money, because Brendan's had all of it. Like, look, look, look how excited that that, that little Paul got him, because he's imagining his car doing it. You can tell this guy likes to spend fucking money. You know, he loves to spend it. All this is just this is a, that podcast one settlement, that one point six mil you got from podcast one. They had to go get a loan from a Spanish fucking payday lender or something right some crazy thing right the company um podcast one they had to go get a loan from a spanish bank to pay him off 1.6 mil and it's all been busted up it's all been cummed all over in that fucking engine <laughs> and look how excited he is like have you ever seen him laugh and smile at that before he genuinely is happy he loves to spend money bro he's like whoa he, honestly look at him he, you've never seen brendan this happy over trainers over his wife his kids the podcast is with, with fucking brian joe rogan even joe rogan doesn't make him smile like this bro what are we gonna do bro like that holy <laughs> shit you ever you ever seen a seven thousand pound truck spin all four yeah, tires <laughs> bro just a little slam yard god damn that was nuts yeah i mean the crazy part too is <laughs> pulling a puppy lanyard how many other names does he have of these fucking for these cars how many fucking cliche terms does he have for cars land yacht all right on top bro. of that you have headers yeah. the over chiller all that exhaust this is stock cats stock all that nuts 
still 10 second, 10 second truck. So you're gonna be even crazier than this one. So, because I wanna make sure that you know exactly what you're getting, put my money where my mouth is, I want you to take the key. <laughs> right, right, right. Yeah. We're gonna see how you feel about the 900 package, and then that way you can see firsthand what it's like. I'm about to say the same thing, Stephen Castaneda. I'm about to say the same thing. Isn't this Brendan's show? Why is this guy hosting it? Don't get me wrong. He seems way more charismatic. He seems way more charming. He seems way more knowledgeable. He's funnier. But why is he hosting the show? <laughs> What's going on? Why is he hosting? Why is Brendan just sat there like... Brendan's like the client in one of these type of shows, isn't it? Like, he's trying to convince the client about a, a mod he's doing. Like, hey, it's not what... I know this isn't what you wanted. But instead of the six valve, we did this 12 valve. We switched out the induction, right? Like he's, he's, he's like he's trying to convince the client, you know? We've kind of lowered the seats so he can really start to feel the back. You know, like he's, he's doing what he's fucking, he's trying to sell him on the mods and shit or on the customization options. And he's like, I'm not too sure, you know? Failure, I like it. Okay. I, I dig it. Don't kill me. Okay. I, but the anticipation of me getting my, my truck. <laughs> Huh? He struggled to say anticipation. Is it because he's too excited or because he doesn't know the English language? One more time. Antici anticipate what? Dig it, don't kill me. Okay. I, but the anticipation of me getting my, my truck. Right. <laughs> b -b 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 black guy? <laughs> b -b 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 black guy? Don't, 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 don't take my wife. <laughs> Because if I feel like if I drive yours, it's gonna ruin the surprise when I come back and pick up my truck. Facts. So this is a setup we were talking about possibly. So on my car show, I don't want to take your car or drive it to get some footage of me behind the wheel of this car. I'm gonna oh, whatever, whatever. Doing these are this is what it looks like if you do twenties. Some yeah. people like the eighteen look. Some yeah. people like the twenty look. I decided to go with method 18 inch wheels. This thing's not gonna be a street princess. We're taking. <laughs> <coughs> the voiceover. So they forgot to film the show like a show. Then they put it in post and realized the black guy's doing all the hosting and Brendan's hardly said anything apart from like, land yacht. That's dope. Ooh. So they tried to put his, they did the voiceover in post production. <laughs> <laughs> uh, also not to be that guy but i'm sorry unless you're driving this on a farm why do you have a pickup truck that looks like this with the spare wheels in the back as well are, are there guys really in america driving these around in like residential streets going from like home to their kids school to target back to home to a local bar and back again like why have you got a, a truck that looks like this that looks like it could be a, a handy fucking car to drive around during the fucking apocalypse. But all you do is just drive around your residential area. You've got like two spare tires, a roll cage, a fucking ram bar. You know, like you've got fucking cables. Like, why would you do that? <laughs> what a waste of time. <laughs> it's so odd. Because this, don't get me wrong, it looks fucking beautiful. Especially this orange. This might be my favorite one I've seen from them do, right? This orange... Um, with these big um tires, the rims aren't that thick. The sp like it looks fucking sick. Don't get me wrong, but it seems like a bit of a like. Why are you posing? Like you're not going. Yeah, you know I mean you you don't work on a farm. Um, you don't work on a building site. You're not a foreman. You're not a fucking building manager, property, whatever. Like what? Why do you have a car when you're just gonna drive it up on a on a fucking perfectly tarmacked street? up into your driveway into a fucking garage <laughs> that's got lights in it and shit do you know what I mean like come on man like you don't need to have this car really really and truly this is shit that's fucking damaging the ozone layer right people in residential houses or residential areas driving fucking four by fours that should be in fucking that should be taking part in the fucking Dakar Dakar rally or some shit do you know what I mean this car should be in the middle of fucking Afghanistan it shouldn't be in fucking Arizona just chilling in the parking lot somewhere. Come on. 
take a look. I decided to go with method 18 inch wheels. This thing's not gonna be a street princess. We're taking this thing off road. Oh, is this a sponsorship? Is that why there's a voiceover? It's a sponsorship. Method is a sponsor is a brand of wheels. Oh the 18 inch wheels. This thing's not gonna be a street princess. We're taking this thing off road. Yeah, right. This is all footage from the method, from the company, isn't it? <laughs> this is so bad. This should be cut already. This should be cut already. This should, this should be cut. It's too long of an advert in between. But I'm sure they're doing it that long because Method probably paid for the placement or they gave him free wheels. But it should be cut in half. It's too long. So after talking with Josh, my plan, and I'm sure we're gonna come to agreement here, the plan is is to use their 900 kit on this, um, which would include the head. <laughs> Why is he just standing there? <laughs> What's he doing? Why are you standing next to the wall like that? <laughs> like, go, go somewhere else, man. Why are you just standing? <coughs> <coughs> Brendan's brother's fucking funny, man. He's just... What's he doing? Why are you just standing there next to the wall? <laughs> Either stand next to him and, like, look as well like you're looking or stand off camera. Oh, God. Sorry, man. That fucking got me there. Headers, the pulleys. Uh, they're going to mess with the, the computer here as well. Uh, get it to over 1,000 horsepower um, with all that tuning. And then uh, we'll also right now. Why is he obsessed with this hunt with the thousand horsepower thing? Is that going to help with the zero to sixty time? Is that why? Because somebody that knows more about cars, let me know. Like, why is he obsessed with one thousand horsepower? What's what's that about? Is that is that really about the zero to sixty time? And why is that important anyway? Like what? Like. <laughs> I'm, I'm confused. Big up Keith Thompson. Appreciate it, brother. Brendan is actually a genius at tricking sponsors. Yeah, it's, it's amazing how he does it. To be fair, it makes sense, though. I bet you, I bet you, I bet you, Keith Thompson, I bet you this. I bet you this. I bet you, whenever he reaches out to people, one of the first things he mentions in his little blurb is Joe Rogan. People underestimate how much Joe Rogan has really contribute to this man's life or to anybody especially in that little comedy in the comedy so little in that comedy scene he really has helped change people's lives for the better and if you mention his name he can really open some doors so i'm sure brendan does that you drop his name yeah you know most guest appearances on joe rogan experience and if you're a brand and you want some exposure it's an it's a fucking no-brainer I mean, you, you immediately think of Joe Rogan whenever you think of Brendan anyway. So you're hoping that it gets in front of him. Maybe he might see it and start blowing it up as well. So that all stuff kind of plays into it. So he probably has, you know, but the problem with Brendan, I think, is the numbers. Most likely he can probably trick people to get, he can probably trick a company to give him stuff for free or pay him the first couple of times because of the association with, with Rogan and his own numbers. But then once they actually look at the views and the metrics of what they paid for, they don't usually come back. He doesn't have a lot of repeat customers. You know what I mean? It's usually a couple of hits. Uh, it's usually like a one hit thing and kind of done. That's the only thing, you know, that's the only issue. So he has to be careful about that sort of shit, but you know, he doesn't really care. So it is what it is. It's up in the air, whether we're going to put springs on or just level the truck out put on uh, bigger wheels and then we'll also swap out the standard stock bumper here for an ADD uh, Baja bumper uh, front and back in the Baja <laughs> Jesse Ventura Baja that's whenever I think of so whenever I hear someone say Baja I think of Jesse Ventura Baja I was in the Marines big up J J big up uh, Will Sasser <laughs> I was a Marine but uh, I think between... Yo, big up Crash. Appreciate you, brother. Truck mods are endless when you have a tiny piece of AZ. Ah, uh, yeah, exactly. Yeah, exactly, exactly, exactly. <laughs> Am I the only person that doesn't mind this whole truck pivot, though? 
I know it's a bit weird and a bit dumb of my take, but I honestly think him just being away from like LA people and actually being around regular working class, middle class people who don't have aspirations to become rich and famous and work in Hollywood. They just, you know, they like doing their content on cars. They like fucking, you know, riding around and driving fast and doing donuts and shit. That actually might be a good thing for him. You know what I mean? Like being around surrounded these type of people it might actually be a good thing, but the show is terrible so far. It, it really is terrible. It might do wonders for his personality and maybe his friendship group, but in terms of a quality of a show, this is garbage. The exhaust, the 900 kit, the bumpers, the wheels, the rims, the lifting, the leveling kit, this thing's gonna come out pretty badass. That's the plan. So just don't get me wrong, it's it's a nice truck. It looks really nice, to be fair. No? Like it's a really, really nice looking truck. But I'm not invested. I don't care. Okay, you got money to buy a truck, you got money to mod it. Like he hasn't created any hook, you know? Like nothing. Like why would you give a fuck about him modding trucks? You have to kind of like him first, and already he hasn't got the most likable personality or reputation. So that's a bit difficult. So it's hard to really get invested in it. Do you know what I mean? It's like there's not there's not much of a story here. Like what you know, like what? What's the point of this? <laughs> So to start out, my boy Josh at Overkill installed American stainless headers for better airflow and max. He's doing he's doing voiceover work type thing. Fuck you, no. Maximum performance. Then added an Overkill upper custom pulley to increase the boost. We also added 1200cc injectors, erasing thermostat. If you're if you're the ad sponsors on these podcasts, you must be so pissed. He can actually read and enunciate properly and read from a script. But he chooses not to do it on his pods. He just does them in one live take all the way through and doesn't bother to fucking re-record it. But he's actually speaking pretty well here. He's not fucking up his words or the pronunciations of it or the pronunciation, sorry, or whatever it may be. He's actually, you know, he sounds almost... Um, Andrew Tate says, AZ, you haven't seen anything. There, there are lifted sick trucks way sicker than these. Yeah, okay. I, I, I don't doubt it, man. I don't doubt it for sure. But you know, Austin Casey... <clears throat> In true bopper style, this show has the feeling of a run and gun production with no plan. Just shoot stuff and piece something together. There we go. There we go. That's what I'm feeling of it. They just they've kind of figured it out along the way when really it would have taken them ten minutes to figure out just one brief story with it. It doesn't need to be super detailed. Like, what's the point of the first video? And then go from there. Like I don't know, like Maybe if, if it was me, I would go as far as saying that maybe I wouldn't even focus on my car first. I'd make the my car thing the overarching story for the entire five episode run. Like, yeah, but it wouldn't be my car will be the focus. It'd be like, hey, I'm going to be highlighting all these amazing garages around the country that are doing sick and on the amazing work, you know, modding trucks and stuff. And then you'll have it, you tell the story of the garages through your car, but it won't be specific on your car. You know what I mean? This is it just feels like who cares about his I don't know, it's just weird. Like, who cares, you know? Um Forgive my laughter says I agree, it's kind of rough edits, bad storytelling. Like you said, the ads are a bit lame. I've watched plenty of the shows and I've seen way worse. Really? Forgive my laughter. So give my laughter. Um you I, I assume you consume a lot of car content, right? So you're saying this isn't really that bad compared to other car content pe people out there. Fucking no. Okay, fair enough. Maybe he's not. Maybe he's doing okay then. But I've watched a few YouTube videos here and there from different channels on cars and shit, and they do a much better job. And I've seen guys do the whole review thing where it's just one guy filming it, like how Doug Mara does his stuff, right? He's a bit more dry and dead. But I've seen guys with YouTube channels who they just have their own. They just have a tripod in themselves, and they go from they tell the entire story of going to pick up the car. The, the details the specs and shit they you know they fucking take a video of the interior they sit inside it they drive it around they talk about the drive you know the fucking you know the experience itself how it handles like all through just one camera by themselves and it's done way better than this do you know what i mean that's the issue and racing silver spark plugs then he installed a module computer tuning to handle all these crazy upgrades putting us in excess of 1000 horsepower at the crank 
With all this horsepower, we added an overchill. <laughs> At the crank, you know. <laughs> One more time, say that again. Papa <laughs> uh, is a gear haired Excess of 1,000 horsepower at the crank. With all this <laughs> horsepower, we added an overchiller to keep this beast cool. Heat's definitely the enemy in this. Bro, you're taking your kids to school. You're dropping your wife off at fucking Chanel in fucking um, Hollywood Boulevard, wherever that place is, right? Like, come on, bro. Where's this car going? It's going to go. It's going to a private school. It's going to Target. It's going to Walmart. It's going to designer stores and back again, and maybe some comedy clubs. Maybe, but like that's it. This thing, and finally, to make sure we can clear the 38 inch open country Toyo tires, 18 inch method wheels, and add to the off road performance, we added the <laughs> what was that pause and add 18 inch method wheels and add to the off. <laughs> The edits, man. You can't even read, man. This motherfucker. Honestly, man, life really isn't fair. This guy's a multi-millionaire, and he legit can't read. <laughs> Open country Toyo tires, 18-inch method wheels, and add to the off-road performance. <laughs> we added the Ebok Pro Kit, which lifted the TRX three inches in the front, one and a half inches in the back. And to top it all off, the TRX was converted to run on E85 gas for maximum performance. With all these mods, this TRX should be pretty sweet. Let's go pick it up. A couple of weeks later, here you guys go. One of the baddest. Oh, look, a couple of weeks later. A couple of weeks later, man, just flash. This guy looks like, um, you know, this guy looks like he, he's um, the opposite of EDP, isn't it? Like, right? Like, good EDP. TRX is on the planet, um, and we're just gonna go from there. Big up Keith Thompson, appreciate it, brother. Now that you mention it, I've heard Brendan drop sponsors' names on JRE. I wonder if they paid him for that name drop. 100%. 100%. Look at the last episode of um, the fight companion on JRE with Rogan and Brian and that. Brian even was shilling. Brian was wearing a black rifle t shirt, black rifle coffee t shirt. Don't think, and when's the last time you heard Brian talk about Black, Ri Black Rifle Coffee? He clearly got sponsored to wear that t-shirt, which is which must be weird at, for Rogan, right? His friends actually don't actually want to see him and hang out and just chill. They use the opportunity to go on, on Rogan to like, you know, sh shill products and, and get paid. I think Brendan on that show had that Kiwi Tech um, snapback hat, right? So he probably got paid for that also. And I'm sure he tagged them as well on his Instagram post. So, you know, it's all one big grift shilling game for these guys. Um, and Rogan is the best person to use because he doesn't really seem to care, I don't think. I think that's part of the maybe agreement or maybe just his personality. He doesn't really seem to care if they use his name in any way, shape or form to get some deals and shit, which is quite nice of him. But these guys go over, these guys go overboard. So that's the next step from it. More power. I'm so excited, man. Heck yeah. Heck yeah. Just the beginning, my brother. Awesome. Thank you, Doug. Let's Appreciate it, man. Thank awesome. you. So we see no footage of them working on his car. Nothing. We see no B roll footage of them lifting the car up, taking off the wheels. Like, nothing. Nothing. It just goes, we just see it. Okay, it's got done. All right, we just have to believe them. Also, the spend some money and get some music done, some some good beats or something. Come on, brother. Is that him there? What's going on now? What's this? Who's this? Who's cars this? This show is so confusing. What's going on? Oh, is that the famous Annie Liederman truck, eh? That's the Annie Liederman truck, isn't it? Yeah, that's the one. That's the famous walk me to my truck. Oh, that's an ad. Oh my God. That was just like a random ad in the middle of the show. 
for what's the company called ADD what's that rad or something yeah addictive no addictive desert designs oh my god so these cars had nothing to do with the show just a random I fear Brendan's gonna make a lot of money from this I feel like that genre or that scene of guys who are into like you know uh pimping up their pickup trucks there's a whole group of brands and people who would run and rush to sponsor this show you know I think this show's gonna do pretty well it's terrible to watch as a bit of content horrendous right I, I, I would have turned this off already if I'm eating like I, I actually judge content based on like how long could you stomach watching this while you're eating your dinner and I would have turned this off after four minutes so it's not really that fun to watch but I think a lot of those brands in that space probably don't have a lot of places to maybe market or advertise their shit you know outside of the usual channels they already advertise on so that they see a new fish uh, or some fresh meat or new platform on the space like this one that's associated with Rogan they're gonna run to it so don't be surprised if this show goes on to do bigger and better things because the money's gonna keep rolling in because he's already got loads of sponsors already like this is like a legit company that does like modifications and shit and they're already doing proper little fucking you know what they called mid rolls or whatever they're called right in the fucking video Not this again. All right, Tom, a bit of a slow start for- What the fuck is going on? What is this? <laughs> what is this? He's just inserting ads into his fucking- Oh my God, bro. Brendan, bro. You can't do anything just for like the love. Everything has to be a hard, heavy-handed cash grab. Fuck, bro. For Griffin, give me some time. Horse is making his approach here, Dom. He still hasn't found his flow. Oh! Things are heating up! Oh, it's on now. Unbelievable. Force goes for the left hook. Oh, he's showing off a lot of stamina. He's not letting up. So where are we headed, Force? Really, guys? Get a hobby. You are the hobby. Come on, bro. Come on, bro. Come on. That is so fucking terrible, man. For the first episode, you are fucking clubbing us over the head with these fucking forced, horrendous ads. Come on, bro. This is a fucking cash grab if ever I've seen one, isn't it? How are you selling out in episode one? How are you selling out in episode one? <laughs> episode one is a sellout. At least get five episodes in and then do the ads late. F episode one, you're selling out already. God almighty. What's up, guys? So we're fine. <sighs> boo, man. I've, I, I've done this before, but boo. I've never done this before, boo. I'm disliking that. For that alone, that is fucking shameless. Fucking hell. Finally back from Sacramento, but we're not done yet. I'm here at the headquarters of Kibbe Tech, and the owner, Ryan, has some fun stuff in store for the TRX. Another ad? Another ad. Okay, cool. Okay, cool. Don't get me wrong, the car looks sick. I like the ad, but come on, bro. Episode one, you got like five minutes worth of ads. So this show is like 10 minutes long or nine minutes long. All right, what's up, Ryan? This is the owner of Kibbe Tech. This is my boy, Ryan, here. Ryan, let him know, what, what exactly are we doing today, boss? All right, so today we're gonna install our billet aluminum upper control arms on the front. This ain't a show, this is a fucking vlog, man. This is a car vlog, it's not a show, it's a vlog. Suspension here <coughs> gives us- uh, It's having a good vlog. More adjustability, <coughs> they're stronger, and just they look a hell of a lot better. Way better. And then in the back, we're gonna do our replacement uh, link set. Again, notice. Kibi Tech dude seems like a chill, informed, charming, charismatic, knowledgeable guy. 
Same like the black dude in the other garage. But Brendan is not like he's nowhere to be found in this footage, really. What 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 show is this? You know, like he's nowhere to be found. I wonder if BGL is in the bushes somewhere here, preparing uh Brendan a couple fucking <laughs> a couple whiskey doubles. <laughs> Set up for the back, so it's both lower links on each side and a pan hard bar that is also adjustable. So if you get any more lift in the back, your rear end's not going to be centered anymore. So our adjustable pan hard bar, we could center that rear end back out. And then uh, they're also all billet aluminum. Uh, yeah, I could hear him talk about cars all day long. He seems like he knows his shit. You know what I mean? And he seems passionate about it. I could hear him talk about it all day long. But again, this is meant to be Toontown presented by Brendan Shaw. Where's Brendan? Anodized, machined all here in house. Um, so yeah, we're gonna get all that stuff on and then uh, go have some fun. All right, let's get it done. Where was all this footage before? That's what they need to do, B-roll. Where was all this footage in the other garage? Fuck you know. <laughs> Have some fun my guy ryan here at kibbe tech installed the upper arms you can see the we know who he is there the rear suspension and uh best in the business ryan thank you brother yeah no problem you're the best uh i'm gonna go now i'm gonna leave <laughs> he tries to skid in it he tries to skid <laughs> He tried to skid, it didn't work. <laughs> he best hope he doesn't get into a car crash, because if he does, they're going to use that as a meme. This is going to be a part of the meme. No you're that. the best. Uh, I'm going to go now. I'm going to leave. He tried, to, he tried to swing that back end around, didn't it? It didn't work. He thought you could Tokyo drift that thing. All right, there it is. You guys saw me go all the way up to Sacramento at Overkill with the boys tuned this freaking TRX to over a thousand horsepower at the crank. The Active Desert Design bumpers front and back. We got the Baja Design lights in. We got the wheels. We got the tires from Toyo. We freaking Kibbe Tech did their thing on the suspension. So we're done. We're all done. Or are we? I really dislike how I seem to have a habit of having the worst takes on here and they're all recorded. I made the fucking clip. Brendan Schaub's new car show is going to be, is okay. Where I kind of was speaking quite positively about, you know what, this could be a good thing. It could actually be quite a decent show. It's on record. I can't even hide from my prediction. And then you see it. And you're like, oh my God, everything that I hoped it would be, it wasn't. And it was worse than I could ever imagine. What the fuck was that? Number one, it's not a show. Number one, it doesn't need to exist. Why put this even on a separate channel? No story, just vibes. N not, not even vibes, just footage. Ham together. This is probably why Chin is always having to be overworked. They already got Chin... You know, taking his laptop to fishing trips, taking his laptop to fucking Korea, and now he has to edit all this shit. Hey, Chin, um, make this make sense. <laughs> Here's some footage. Make this make sense. I'd love, I'd, I, I would love or hate to see what got left on the cutting room floor. Can you imagine the bits they didn't put in to this fucking show? The edits that didn't make it. The BTS shots. The bloopers. Can you imagine the bloopers for this show? If this is the best that you've got. 
I can't believe I honestly thought he was going to be able to put together a decent car show. I honestly can't believe that. Pound trucks spin all four times. He didn't even host it. This guy was probably the best bit about it. This black dude from that first garage and the guy from Kibi Tech were the best bits about the show. Or maybe that one advert for that company. There was one advert that was really good. Not the Kibi Tech one, the other advert. That was a quite a cool little ad. But the best part about this was this guy and the, and the other dude. Brendan wasn't even really in the show. And then the, the redacted teaser at the end. What was that? Mag Here's me at Magnus Superchargers. What am I going to do? Uh -huh. What? You're going to what? You're going to try and make your truck go faster than 1,000 horsepower. We get it. What else you got? I'm not going to do it. So. Yeah. Um, rating wise, I give that a fucking one out of ten, mate. That was horrendous. That was horrendous. Actually, let's read the comments. What the comments say? Maybe I'm in the wrong. Maybe I'm the hater. Maybe I'm the hater. Okay, I might be a hater. Let's see what the comments say. But for me, that's a one out of ten. And if I could fucking dislike it twice, I would. I would fucking dislike it there and dislike it again. You know what I mean? Dislike it. Unlike it, dislike it, unlike it. This I'd, I'd do it again and again and again if I could. Honestly, would that was horrendous, bro. That was so shit. Let's see what the comments say. Maybe I'm the hater. Let's see what the comments say. Don't what's that? Don't get overwhelmed, Brendan. But I like that you are trying out new stuff. We just need a truck with a fish tank in it. I can't wait to see more. Jensen can wheel. Is it flex fuel or pure corn? Can't wait to see what you're cooking up. So what's the entire build cost? <laughs> he forgot that bit, didn't he? <laughs> this is sick. Let's go. I'm hyped for the new channel. I want y'all and Mike Turnbo, aka Bro Science, on the show. Mustang Notchback, one of my faves. Sounds sick as fuck. You know your boy is, f is farming them motor sponsors exactly can brendan even change his own oil good question so good probably shouldn't have left the license plate exposed on 902 another thick boy production <laughs> have you thought of going with meth injection to keep the engine cooler and get more power is that a joke <laughs> meth <laughs> is that like a <laughs> you can tell Shaw doesn't want to burn out or drive fast he's scared to drive the black dude's truck Damn it, sure, but I'm in. Not bad for your first episode. Okay, maybe we're redacted. Maybe I'm the dumb one. Oh, fucking hell. Oh, menthol, menthol injection, not meth. No, I, I'm thinking crystal meth. Sorry. That's the fucking... That's the Addy's talking in my head. I, I was thinking crystal meth. Crystal meth injection engine. That's a bit fucking crazy. But yeah, that was a one out of ten. Will not watch again. Absolutely terrible. But of course, for the, for the show... When episode two comes out, we will do another watch along. Of course we will, for the nature of the show, because I'm here to serve the audience. It is what it is. But that was fucking garbage, man. Oh my God, how bad was that? How bad was that? 